Hey everyone, and welcome to FTL Arsenal Plus. It's a mod for FTL. Uh, obviously, down here, just, it's a mod. This is the English translation. I think it's a Russian mod that's translated in English. And I don't actually know what all mods I have installed for this because I installed these mods a while back and I have multiple installs of this game. There's no mod list that goes with the install, so don't actually know if there's anything else added on to this. We just have to play and see. So, uh, I think I'm going to do the, the Order Cruiser. There, there's a lot of new ships in Arsenal Plus. And they're all very interesting. All of them, well, they're, they can be a lot more difficult is the issue. Like, uh, there's, there's one of these Zoltan crews, it doesn't have weapons. Yeah, this one doesn't have weapons. It just has suicide Zoltans. And I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm good enough with the Zoltans to do that. Wait, is it even, uh, Suicide Zoltans? It is Suicide Zoltans. I know, uh, yeah, the Crestral, this one, you can Ion Blast, you just gotta have to Ion Blast Oxygen. Which, is an interesting ship, um, I don't think I really want to do it because of how long it would take. I'm not sure if that would be, maybe if they, well, you could always skip in the video. I, I don't myself have a fast forward button on real life. So, not gonna do that one. Unless someone really wants me to do that one. It, it's a neat ship. I have done it before. So, I, I'm just gonna do the Hand of God, which is... The, uh... The unique thing about this ship is the weapons it has are randomized every time you click on the ship. So this time it's just Ion Blasts. But this time it's an Ion Blast and Tachyon. And, yeah, I just do this a whole bunch. And, uh, we're gonna have... A combination laser and a heavy F ion with uh, three random dudes here. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't really name them because I don't pay attention. And we, we do hard. hard. Hard is how this goes. We also do not have doors. <laughs> we have we have airlocks, unlike uh, Rock B. I think it's Rock B. It's either Rock B or Rock C that has no airlocks. We have airlocks. But, uh, no door controls, but we have fire suppression. Other than that, uh... That's really all we got going for us, is these two weapons. Which, let's see, the heavy F-Ion one. The firing ion weapon can disable and damage systems without causing hull damage. Low chance of fire if it hits the system directly. So, two power, 14 seconds. Shoots one bullet, two damage, but one system damage as well. That's pretty good. I like I like heavy ions. If you can get a bunch of those, you can just destroy the shields. And you got the combination laser designed by Order Fanatics. This variation of the standard laser boasts a high chance to start fires and breach. One or er, one power, nine seconds, one shot, one damage. So uh, we have to use both weapons here. No piercing weapons or anything. Is is Arsenal Plus the one that has? Uh, Pierce weapons right off the start. One of these Half-Life er, Half mods, yeah. I I just got done playing a Half-Life mod, that's why. Uh, one of these FDL mods, there's a Pierce laser enemies can get in Sector 1 and 2 that just pierces one laser of shields, and it's infinitely annoying. It may be this mod. I don't know. Um, let's see. You find a cruiser. You find a ship flowing among debris. They need fuel. So, I want to say in this one, these can be fake. However, I don't believe this is fake. I think if they're fake, they're missing a part of their paint. So, I, I will give them fuel. And we got a little bit of reactor power, which isn't the greatest. I would have probably taken anything but reactor power. Even uh, mapping. But whatever. Uh, let's see. Just, oh, there's no one here, so we're just gonna talk to a random crew member, and he just has six, uh... Six drone parts sitting around. Oh, thanks. So, I think, in terms of weapons, I think we're good for right now. I would love to have another weapon. I would love to have something to deal with missiles. I have nothing to deal with missiles here. Nor drones. Or hacking. <laughs> Or really anything, I just, I just gotta tank everything that comes across. I think I need an extra gun of some sort, if only because a single point of damage to my weapons turns my ship off. 
more or less. And if I miss that heavy ion, I'm in big trouble. Though the com the combination laser, which it it's odd, it's combination, but it's it's you know abbreviated comb, which is pronounced completely differently. So I I'm gonna I hate this. I hate the word comb because it's hard to say. For someone who has trouble saying words in general, comb is hard to say. As opposed to combination. Oh, he's jumping. That is, he's gone. There's no way. Yeah, he's gone. That is, I forgot he was jumping. That's, that's not great. He wasn't the best, the best enemy to encounter. To begin with. Really, we don't, uh... Well, this is hard mode. I never said I'd win. Just to point that out there, this is this is an attempt to get through FTL Arsenal Plus on hard. It has happened. I've done it before. Whether or not I do it this time, probably not. You know, uh, dual lasers, uh, sort of dual missiles if he charges them, which he uh, definitely will because that's what he's going to do. Uh, I'm in a very... Oh, he didn't even charge it. Good thing I shot that off. I am in a very bad situation here. Which, um, on one hand, it's really nice that one charge broke his entire shields. On the other hand, this guy's going to die. Yeah, we just need to leave. Oh god, that is going to take a long time, huh? Well, gonna be honest, I, I, can we make it out of this? Probably, maybe. If we play our cards just right, maybe. Oh god, that's fine. That's actually 100% fine due to the beautiful, beautiful fire suppression system. Please stop fighting. Please go to the med bay. Fix the med bay. Half charged and half dead. He has to fix the oxygen system. That missed. That's fine. I can't afford to have anyone fix that. This is a very rough start. He's going to shoot the oxygen system. That's fine. So long as it's not piloting. I want the engine to back up. I had three engines, surprisingly enough. I don't... I don't foresee my... Look, in my defense, FTL isn't exactly bounced around... Or the mod isn't bounced around hard mode. Mods are usually bounced around normal mode. So, uh, definitely my fault. I can leave. I'm not sure if I want to leave. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna jump to the next sector and die. Yeah, yep. It's another Zoltan. Can I even check what... I can't check what sector I'm in. I, I guess I'm in this... Zoltan sector? I don't. I thought it could only be civilian. I don't know. To save everyone the trouble of watching that, I'm definitely dead. So let's, we'll head back to the hangar here. We'll go back though. We'll try a different gun maybe. Let's uh, tachyon and ion blast one. Both shoot one round. Let's try and go for three rounds at a time. Still one round each. Ion and a scaffold beam. Uh, that's same same sort of issue. Okay, th this one's a little better. At least uh, the charge time's faster. So this time around, we have the Fire Ion Blast Mark II, so it's two power, six seconds, one shot. So no more system damage. It's a lot weaker, but it's faster. I think faster is definitely what we want on our side in order to actually make progress. I also do want to go through this nebula. Always flip the nebula. You never know what you might find. This is the mod that has the piercers. Oh, I'm like, he's got a... Okay, that's an enemy defense... Enemy advanced defense drone. Shoots down... Yeah, that shoots down the air projectile. I can't kill him. He can get through my uh, stuff, but I can't kill him. He has a... Uh... You can see where this, this mod has issues. <laughs> it definitely has issues. His... Uh... It's a gauze cannon, basically. And you more or less cannot 
if you time it right, you could have, you know, someone shoot it. Wow, it missed him. On the bright side, his his pierce laser has been very awful. That 25% evasion has been very kind to us so far. We are going to get hit one more time, yeah. But we're just going to leave this. Yeah, it sucks that uh, they can have such good defense drones early on. That pretty much shuts you down. Okay, this guy, he's got missile launcher. It shoots, I think it just shoots a burst. There's two kinds of these. One that shoot uh, like eight different missiles that shoot in like a shotgun. And then one that shoots a small swarm of missiles that I don't really know the point of. To be honest, I don't know why it's a swarm and not just a single shot because they blow up in one hit anyway. So I think this is more towards system damage than hull damage, I think. And then this is just a uh, anti-personnel round because he's definitely trying to kill my crew with his teleporter here, which uh, he won't be able to since he only sent one guy over. So if we can just get his weapon offline, which is going to take a little bit, I don't want auto fire. Yeah, it does. No, it, it's more towards. Uh, it's not system, it's to hull instead of system. Well, that is not the thing I wanted you to blow up, but it works. I don't know. Hey, hey. I don't know why they chose to do that, but that's fine. Send both of them there. At this point, we want to try and get the shields down permanently. The big bonus to uh, this ship is the fire. We can't see it right now because, you know, we're in a nebula. But every shot we do is a chance to light their ship on fire. And <laughs> that causes chaos. Even even if you only do one damage, it could light the room on fire and it prevents them from repairing it. It hurts the crew inside. It constantly damages the uh, the system. So, crew kill should be pretty doable in this. I'm not sure if we really want to go for crew kills. It's going to take a while for them to happen. And it definitely doesn't work if they have a med bay. Because we'll still have to blow the med bay up and hope a fire lands in there so no one can heal. And then we're going to have to hope a fire lands in here so no one can fix this. But it is possible. Um, two fuel, four missiles, ten scrap, I think it's worth it. That That's a lot of missile money. I, I have missiles, but nothing to use the missiles with. And even though the, uh, the money amount was very low, the fuel and the missiles together were very nice. Hey, we got a guy, Crombie. Uh, that's, that's a little spooky. He sounds like a zombie. And Sigmar kind of sounds like a Pokemon. What What is... It's like a Magmar or something. I think... Wait, why? Oh, there's a... Uh, okay, hold on a second. I sent him to the death room. I, I recalled hearing a uh, breach, but I, I completely left my mind after hearing it. So here we are in a sun. Suns are no good. We're going to start burning up. He is fixing that. And the weapons are not bad, really. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that up for right now. So he's got an ion weapon, and he's got a hull beam. A tiny, tiny hull beam. So again, they're trying to destroy hull and not really my soul. That's actually a stun beam. If, uh, if he hits my shields, he'll stun my guy and my shield room. So I do not want him to be standing there because he'll get stunned. He won't fix the hull, and he'll die. Okay. We've got... We'll have to survive maybe one beam of theirs. Maybe not. Yeah, one beam. Straight into the weapons. If we can ju Ah, that's unfortunate. Back down here. Can... Ideally, we want this to hit beforehand. Uh, it does. So, well, maybe not. If your shields are down, you take more damage and get more fires than if your shields are not down. So you definitely want the shields to be down, even if you can't deal any damage because the solar flare is going to be dealing the damage to you. 
Actually, also top 10 strategy, take your shields off. <laughs> well, the idea is take your shields off and it'll land in a room and you can just hope that it doesn't hit something important. But if it hits your shields, you're just kind of boned. Like, yeah, it, it went for the shields. And unfortunately, we're having some pretty nasty luck with landing these shots. Oh, that is a very nice offer. I will take you up on that. And we can leave immediately. We're going to have to go around, sort of, for this. That's fine. Still plenty of fuels. Plenty of time before the fleet gets here. Some marauders. Okay. Canada, a heavily damaged Federation cruiser drifting dismally in space. Behind it flies a small freighter with a couple of weapons. Upon closer inspection, you can see the crew of the cargo ship is taking valuables from the cruiser and is loading them on board the ship. So, uh, I'm pretty sure this always ends in the Marauders attacking you. This ends in the uh, Marauders attacking you, and this is Skip. So, uh, we'll just attack the Marauders. I warm up my weapons, and I'm still stunned for some reason. Oh, because I left a, uh, an event. It only clears if you're not in an event square. So, very similar to last time, except they have more pulse shots, which is not good. And this is just a laser, but it's longer. It does, it does not have um, hull damage, which is nice. Okay, so that's down. I am still gonna try the shield trick here. They hit me in the shield. They go for the shield every time. Every time. There goes the old uh, med bay. I should have moved him back up there, but it's fine. He can't even train until we fight someone with a laser anyway because you only get points in training if he recharges the shield and that only happens if it gets taken down by a laser so uh, this is on fire which is wonderful um actually I kind of want to have you run into here I want to see what the situation is let's try and start a fire here beautiful another fire only two, it's still going to be a lot of work for them to try and fix. Up to three now. If we could start a fire here, which we do, we actually may be able to crew kill this ship. I kinda want to shoot an ion blast at one of them. I don't know which one though. Probably shields. I'm gonna do shit. Yeah, so shields. Are they gonna run from shields yet? Now uh, they're running from weapons. Yeah, I, I do not want to uh, shoot anymore. They're way too close to being dead. I would love if I could get a fire and shields though. No fire and shields. Because now the issue, in order to kill them, we are going to have to somehow light a fire up here before uh, this explodes or this explodes. So we're just going to have to keep hitting that room with... Well, no. Yeah, the shields are going to go down too fast. Okay, so we get a little bit of scrap from the Marauders. And here's the, the issue. We could send the crew in to try and fix the... Or not fix, but loot the, uh, the broken ship. Only issue is, 98% of the time, it seems like the ship's about to explode and you lose a crew. On the other hand, you could get a weapon from this. I think it's worth losing a crew in order to... Because we're, we're just sending one. In order to chance a weapon. And maybe some scrap. So we'll send them in. Uh, it seems... Ah, uh, they carried everything off, so... Wasn't that bad. It, like, it's either, you know, you get something, there's nothing there, or the ship reactor is critical and blows up and kills your crew, and I think it hurts your ship. And it's just a feel-bad situation for us all. I kind of want to put some into this. I don't think I am, though. I think I want to save up so I can determine whether I want to try and get the light laser up. And, you know, it's probably better to get the light laser up. If I can get crew kills, the, the idea here is I can either go between shields so I don't take damage, get more or have more scrap overall, or go for weapons, get crew kills, get more scrap. It, you gotta pick. I think both work out. 
this is a guy who his weapons need to go down as quick as possible. Th those are, that's an even worse version of the guy we found last time with his ability to shoot three rockets instead of one. We'll shoot everything we've got at his weapon room and also his shield room. Okay, the shields have a hole in them and they've somehow repaired, they must have an, they can't have an NG, they're uh, no they're pirates, they can't have NGs. I thought they were rebels, they're in a rebel freighter, a stolen rebel freighter. But they're pirates, so they can't have aliens on board. Rebels won't have uh, aliens. Because they're all racist for some reason. I'm pretty sure that's... Aren't... I think there's no aliens on any of the ships, because I think the rebels are all racist? Is that... Or is that... That would be specious, maybe. I don't know. I don't think you ever see any rebels with any... Think other than humans. I'm not sure if that's ever explained in game. I'm sure it's explained somewhere. Let's see, scans show a remote settlement being blocked by a pirate ship. So, uh, just a pirate ship attacking some settlement. So, kill them, get stuff from them, get stuff from the settlement. It's a win win. Uh, let's see, I think that's a. I think that's a system. Rocket. I keep saying that. I keep saying things are system. I'm pretty sure that's system, though. It's gonna appear shields. It could be that, or it could be stealth rockets. There, there's two things. It could either be stealth rockets, or it could be system rockets. I'm hoping it's system rockets. It's shooting two, so I'm gonna get a system. Yeah, there's system rockets. Also, now would be a opportune time to send a guy into, uh... Shields to fix the shields. Have you noticed the shields are down? Everyone get in. I don't care about that. Fix the shields. And there's nothing I can do about this. You're just gonna have to suck up the damage from the system drone there, or the system missiles. Hopefully, we start some fires. That's all we can really hope for. Just shoot, start fires, and uh, keep stunning. He has three power in that. I thought he was only going to have two, so I was going to try and get a little little extra fire in there. But I think I think a fire actually hit him there. Either a fire or a... Uh, let's, let's move you down there. Actually, move you here, save your position, move down here. And then we'll move this... Uh, keep weapon guy there. Weapon guy will get training. Both of these are down, so piloting guy doesn't get any training from any of this. He is down to just two crew, and they're on fire. It's not looking good for him. So I can combination laser him to death, and then light laser him. And I get a fire drone. Probably won't use that. And they're happy that I've saved the day. Really, this... this the mod's all about getting your foot in the door. You get your foot in the door, things start going well. You get those crew kills... You know that sweet, sweet dosh? You don't find any stores in Sector 1 for some reason. But it's fine. We don't need stores where we're going. Uh, ooh, yes. I would like to... Let's see. On your way, you come across a junk ship, and they've got a junk pile. They got old laser guns. I want to search. There can be very good things in here. Usually, I don't have the junk for this. Uh, oh, it... All I find is junk. You you can get like uh, burst laser threes and stuff in here. Burst laser twos, all kinds of good stuff. Unfortunately, we got uh, negative thirteen cash, negative sixteen cash. I think it was negative sixteen cash, which uh, not great, but whatever. Another pirate. Um, this is just a letter launcher. It's just gonna shoot one missile at a time. Not an issue. I'm pretty sure it, it could be one that does system damage too, but I'm pretty sure it's a Gisoletto. And then this one over here, it's an assault laser, which I'm not really sure how this differentiates from like a dual laser. It just, it's a laser gun that shoots multiple lasers. It, it's just like a burst laser. I, I don't know why it's, if it's any different. I, maybe it's got different piercing stats or something. 
but it, it doesn't go through shields or anything. It doesn't do extra damage. It's, it just shoots bullets. Or it shoots lasers. I wish it shot bullets. That'd be pretty neat. I could go with another fire weapon. I know I have a fire uh, beam here, or a fire drone. Would like a fire gun. Perhaps a fire beam that isn't drone based. No fires in the uh, the old system room there. System. Shield room. No fires in the shield room. Because they, they just, the shields just keep coming back up and they're not getting broken. There is definitely a fire there. They haven't managed to fix that. It looks like someone just ran into there. So I'm going to guess no fires. But the fires here were strong enough that it uh, they ran. I mean, check. Yeah, the fires were too strong, so they ran. You only ha They do have rock. But the rock isn't going to help them. It may help them find a career in movies, but... It will not help them survive thanks to my light laser. My beautiful, beautiful light laser. Even better, the combination laser also has a chance to breach. A long, as long as... Not as long, but... Why the light laser has a chance to breach and the combination laser has a chance to breach. So, we get crew kills left and right. I'm still saving up in case I come across any uh, interesting lucrative deals, such as the Junk Trader, but I would like to get...